What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Program Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to sort a simple list view in both ascending and descending mod manner. Okay, so you can see right here, if we click the toggle sort, then you are able to toggle the sort in descending to ascending and ascending to descending. Okay, this is what we're going to look at sorting our data in both ascending and descending manner now this is the portrait mode let's also look at the landscape mode so here's our landscape mode but there we are using the kotlin programming language okay this is not java instead we are using the kotlin programming language we also have a version for this tutorial in java so let's get started so as usual the first thing file new and then create project so you type the application name now of course we are working with Kotlin as our programming language, okay? So Kotlin, the programming language right there, of course, right here. So go ahead and include the Kotlin support. And now for you to have this option, I think you must have Android Studio 3.0.1 and above. So please, I'd recommend you uh, update your Android Studio if you haven't. Then. API level 14 is our minimum API. We're going to support Android 4.0 and above. Then we come right here and have the empty activity. Now this is the template. So choose it, then click next. Then come right here, click finish to generate the project. Now with our project generated, we'll come. First and foremost, we'll visit this build.gradle, the app level build.gradle. So right here clearly you can see that some implementation uh, statements have been added. First Android Studio has added for us the Kotlin uh, plugin as a dependency. Okay, now also we've also added the app compat right here as a dependency. So you can also see that the Kotlin plugins have actually been applied using the apply uh, statement. So that's inside the build or gradle, the app level. Then we'll come to our layout. Okay. So inside the layout activity main dot xml you can see we have the relative layout as the root tag then we have the text view which is going to be the header label for our app then we have the button this button when clicked we're going to sort the data in the list view in ascending and then when clicked again in descending so we're going to be toggling between ascending and descending okay so of course right there then we have the list view also there in fact, if you come to the designer, you can see this is what our app is going to look like. The button at the bottom, the list view, and then, of course, the header label. So, that is it. Next, you're going to move over to our main activity.kt, our Kotlin uh, class. So, let's go over there. So, we'll start it from scratch. So, we come right here, main activity.kt. This is our Kotlin file. So, first and foremost, we're going to specify the package, just like Java. Kotlin programs, Kotlin classes normally reside in packages. So we come, we specify the package. Then we're going to create the class. So we're working in an object-oriented manner. So class main activity. This is our main activity. Now having done that one, we're going to import several, uh, add several imports there, okay, which we're going to make use of. Now including the android.app.activity because we want to make this class turn it into an activity so we turn it into an activity by deriving from android dot app dot activity so it's no longer an ordinary class it is an activity now because it is an activity we now need to come to our android manifest dot xml and register it to the system so we come and then register it inside this particular um, android uh, manifest dot xml so we register it there and then we're making it, we're turning it into our launch activity, okay? So this is going to be our launch activity, meaning that when the user runs our app, this is the activity that is going to be executed first. So we do that one. So inside the activity first, we're going to have a reference to a list view. We're going to initialize it to null. So private var my list view of list view. Our list view, we're making it nullable, meaning that it can hold a null value. So we have the list view there then we're also going to have the button so the button is also going to be nullable and we call the button my sort button then we're going to have the galaxies right here now these galaxies of course we're going to assign it 
an array of functions. So array of this right here is a function that it turns whatever we pass it into it turns whatever we pass it into an array. So in this case we're just going to pass it a couple of uh, galaxies and it's going to turn all these ones into one array and hold it inside the galaxies uh, variable. So having that one done that one will come right here and have a sort of sending it's just a boolean variable we're initializing it to true then we have another variable called galaxies list galaxies list we come right here and then turn our array into list using the as list method now why do we need to turn this array into an array list well we are doing that one because we're going to, to sort our data we're going to use the sort method that is defined in the java.util.collections class and that sort method normally requires to pass it an array list so yeah we're going to turn this array into an array list having done that one we'll come and then create the method or the function that is going to sort for us the data so private fun sort data and then we said that we're going to be having this variable called sort ascending so we'll check if that sort ascending is equal to true then we invoke collections that sort Normally, this sort method, which is defined in the collections class, if you pass it an array list the way we do this way, is going to sort that, that array list into ascending by default. So, if our sort ascending in this case is equal to true, we just pass it that galaxies list, and then it will sort it into an array list. Oh, sorry, sorry, it will sort it into in an ascending manner. Okay, so ascending manner from smallest to the largest from a to z so that is it else if that sort ascending equal to false okay if it is equal to false then we're going to reverse that galaxies list the galaxies list was sorted into in an ascending manner so if we invoke the reverse method of the collections class is going to reverse it into a descending manner and that's how we sort our data now having done those ones will come right here and now reset the value of sort ascending so it was sort ascending it was true now we are turning it into false so we say sort ascending equal to not sort ascending okay so if it was true we turn it into false if it was false we turn it into true and we'll be doing that one as the user clicks toggles of course using the button so he clicks sort we sort into ascending he clicks sort again we toggle it, it into descending that's it that's what we will do then we'll come and set the adapter property to our list view so my list view of course these are nullable so we're going to say at these are na null operator then we set the adapter we assign it an instance of array adapter inside the array adapter in its constructor we're passing the context we're passing in the layout and we're passing in the galaxies list now we're also going to come and then listen to item click events for the list view now to handle those ones we're going to use a lambda expression you may have already heard about lambda expression it's actually a functional feature now we have it in kotlin so with lambda expression it normally has three parts the the inputs okay and then there's the so this right here these four right here the inputs now those are the inputs and then we have the lambda operator as you can see this is the lambda operator and then to the right we have the function or the action that you want to execute in this case showing a simple post message that's what we'll do then of course we'll come right here and then initialize our widgets so to initialize widgets we'll come and have this initialize views function so we basically initialize the list view set its adapter then button as well and set its own click listener so when clicked we'll invoke the sort data method now when activity is created first of course we're going to set the content view passing in the activity main.xml then we'll invoke the initialize views that's all we need to do let's go run the project and see our result so we run the project by default the data is unsorted we click toggle sort to sort our data so this is it guys we've looked at how to sort data in ascending and descending manner in kotlin programming language so go ahead like the video share it make sure you guys subscribe to our channel
programming users tv and take care i'll catch you in the next class